missed the weekend. It's celebration assembly. We've got lots to celebrate today. First of all, let's welcome <clears throat> our birthday boys and girls, mums and dads, and our birthday staff. So if you have a birthday this week, you can stand up. We've got a song for you, haven't we? Are you ready? Here we go. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear children, happy birthday to you. And a birthday clap for all of you that have a birthday this week. I hope it's a really happy one. Right, we have lots and lots of children to celebrate this week. My goodness, I'm gonna to have to get on with it. Actually, do you know, I'm gonna to have to make the, the writing a little bigger because it's too tiny for me to read. Here we go. So, who's been reaching for the stars this week? Have you been reaching for the stars this week? I wonder if you're on my list. First of all, for respect, we've got Amy Lacey Wizzock from Class Scotland. Stand up, Amy. Amy always speaks with the utmost respect to her friends and to the adults around the school. I've noticed that about you, Amy. She is so polite and well-mannered, never forgetting to say please or thank you. Amy always makes sure that she's showing respect in class by looking and listening and encouraging her friends to do the same. Amy is an absolute delight to have in Class Scotland and she always has a smile on her face. And we know what happens when you've, when you've got a smile on your face. You pass it to someone else, don't you? And they smile back. So thank you, Amy. That's a lovely start. Next, we've got Zoe Dapiano from Class Canada. Zoe joined us back at school this week. I knew that. She has been a delightful addition to Class Canada by always being polite and respectful towards others. She always uses her best listening skills and never forgets her manners, making everyone feel happy and valued. Oh, Zoe, that's so nice. Well done, keep it up. We've got another one that's been respectful. Penelope Kyles from Class Wales. Penelope is a very respectful member of our team. She demonstrates good manners, shows respect for our environment, and most of all, she's kind and caring to everyone in our class. She offers words of support and encouragement to others. She listens and values the, the opinions of her classmates and thinks carefully about the impact her actions might have. Thank you for being a great role model for us all. Well done, Penelope. Who's been enjoying this week, I wonder? We've got a few. I wonder if it's you. The first one is for Joseph Bushel from Class Canada. Joseph enjoys everything we do in school and he comes in every day with a sunny face. Oh, that's nice. He also loves to share what he's done or is going to do at home. It's great to see his enjoyment of school and life and to observe the way he relishes opportunities to learn. Well done to you, Joseph. The next one is for Albie Rollison from Class England. We've all been totally amazed by how well Albie has settled back into school. He's come to school with a smile on his face every day and has shown great concentration during learning sessions as well as showing how he can play so well with all the other children. Well done, Albie. Great news. Someone else that's been enjoying is Imogen Boatwright from Class India. Imogen has really enjoyed her learning at home lately and has chosen to read some stories about famous people to inspire her. 
Her favourite story is about the life of Coco Chanel. Perhaps we have a fashion designer in the making. Imogen has also been doing lots of baking and made a video where she gave clear instructions on how to make banana bread. I could do with a bit of help with that. It has even been posted on YouTube. I could go and watch, couldn't I? Excellent work, Imogen. We're really proud of you. Who's been achieving? I wonder. We've got a few. The first one is for Dulcie Gibson. For continuing to achieve great things during a really tricky time. Dulcie has continued to work hard and reach for the stars over the last few months. Her mummy has been working very hard on the coronavirus front line. So Dulcie has had to be very independent with her learning at home. Each day she completes activities and tasks to help her learn. And while she's been in school, she's worked very hard too. I'm really proud of you. Well done. Well done, Dulcie. Next one is for Joshua Blows from Class Canada. Now, sadly for us, Joshua is leaving our school at the end of this term. So this is his last week. He is always trying to learn and achieve more, as well as sharing his knowledge with others. He challenges himself to contribute to, to discussions and is also keen to prove that he can do something new and more difficult. Well done, Josh, and good luck in your new school. I'm sure you're going to love it, Josh. It's very exciting. We're going to miss you a lot. Someone else that's been achieving is Naomi Goldberg from Class Scotland. Naomi impressed me with her independence at learning time. She is happy and eager to pop on the headphones, listen to the learning videos and follow all the activities set, producing some great work. Well done, Naomi. Another one from Class Scotland is Agnes May Nelson, who's been achieving this week. Agnes May wowed me with her willingness to take on a challenge. She listened to the Key Stage 1 writing activity. You're in Class Scotland, Agnes, aren't you? Sorry about that, boys and girls. So, Agnes is in reception and she's been listening to the Key Stage 1 activity about how to write a poem. And she asked if she could have a go. She wrote a fantastic poem and was really proud of herself. Well done, Agnes. Who's been caring, I wonder? This is a nice one. It's for Mila from Class Spain. Mila has recently got a pet hamster called Rosie. She's been learning how to care for her new pet and has been telling us all about how she's a good pet owner. Feeding, cleaning and even building an obstacle course for her pet. Well, that's nice. What a lucky pet to have Mila as her owner. I couldn't agree more. Well done to Mila. Somebody else that's been very caring this week is Charlie Sawyer from Class Bahamas. Charlie demonstrates a kind and caring attitude towards his friends, family and teachers. I've definitely noticed that about you, Charlie. Throughout lockdown, he has taken the time to write handwritten letters to, him, to me, that's his teacher, ensuring that I am keeping well. Oh, how kind, Charlie. His care for his family, especially his younger sister, is always lovely to see. He likes to ensure everyone is happy and will do his best to cheer you up. Well done, Charlie. Lovely. And the last one is for being healthy. And it goes to Jake Fish from Class Northern Ireland. Jake enjoyed keeping himself fit and healthy by setting up a challenging assault course for the virtual sports day. Jake carefully checked that the crates were stacked safely for his friends to use and he enjoyed cheering on his friends. Great work, Jake. We're really proud of you. Well, that brings us to the end of our celebration assembly today, boys and girls. And I'd usually say I'll see you next week on Wednesday, but it's going to be a bit different next week. 
So I'm not going to see you on Wednesday for our singing assembly because I'm going to save our singing until next Friday when we're going to have a big assembly. Um, so join us at nine o'clock next Friday and we're going to have the final assembly of the year. OK, I've got lots of exciting things to share with you. So that's it for today. Keep reaching for the stars. Keep trying hard and I will see you all again soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.